Um, basically, what I'd like you guys to look on when we're doing, when we're looking into factoring. Basically, if you if you guys remember earlier, um, the first home first focus lesson we did was multiplying binomials, right? Remember, and I showed you guys that box method, right? Um, so in this case, what I want you guys to think of when we're looking into factoring, I want you to think of this factoring as like finding the sides of the rectangle when you're given the area. So when we're multiplying, we are basically given the sides of a rectangle, and we were multiplying them to find the inside, right? And that's what we did. We found the inside of the rectangle. Now we are given the area of the rectangle. And basically, all factoring is is finding the sides that provide that area. And that's really all it is. So if you look at this, if I say, all right, if 12x squared is my area of this little rectangle here, what could be the two side lengths? Right? Now, there's a lot of different possibilities, right? You could say 6x times x. Would that make sense for that box? Yes? Does 6x times x give you 12x squared? Yes. But here's the problem. 6x times x gives you 12x squared. But 6x times what gives you 15x? Eh, issue, right? Because now you're going to have to multiply by a fraction. 6 does not evenly divide into 15. So when you're deciding on side lengths to use for this box, you want to make sure whatever, whatever height you use for this box can evenly divide into all of the heights of all the areas. So do you got one you want to try? Oh, yeah, it should be 2x, right? And also, I, I do have one that I, like 3 as the sign of 4 Oh, OK. So because a lot of people would do 3 and 4, but they might do this. Do you guys see, 3 times 4 is the right side lace, but do you guys see why this works? Again, the same reasoning. 4x times what is 15? It's a fraction. You can't multiply 4x times what gives you 15. However, if you rewrite, if you order them, 3x and 4x, now we know that. 3x times 4x is 12x squared. 3x times what gives you 15x? 5. Positive 5. So therefore, those are your two side lengths. So the factored form of this is 3x times 4x plus 5. And you can always check your work by factoring by doing what we did in the first focus lesson. Apply the distributive property. You guys see how I checked my work? Just apply the distributive property again. It always can check your answer. Okay?